I have a riddle for you. What does Final Fantasy VIII, Memoirs of the Geisha, and Edmatar have in common? They're all very beautiful, but they lack content. The secret world of Arietti was very beautiful, but throughout the entire movie I felt like something was missing. In many ways it reminded me of Ponyo. The animation was brilliant, bright, and very detailed. It's exactly what you expect from Studio Ghibli, but my biggest problem was the pacing. In Ponyo, nothing happened. It, it felt very short. And when the movie ended, my friends and I were like, what? Was, was that it? The same thing happened in Arietti. The pacing was just not compatible with the events. The movie was more focused on with its atmosphere than it was its characters. It was almost as if this had its own sense of vanity, and because of this I felt the character was sacrificed. Now I should probably mention that Miyazaki did not direct this movie. Now many of you will probably say, oh well, that explains a lot, but he did do the screenplay. This is where you see the gap here. I have no doubt in my mind that the screenplay was great, but unless the director and the writer work together, you're going to see a conflict in the final product. And has led me to believe that, that there might have been some miscommunication in production. Now that's just personal speculation going on there. I don't really know what happened behind the scenes. But my point is, if Miyazaki was the one directing this film, I think it may have came out differently. Now after saying all that, you think I hate the movie, which I don't. It wasn't bad per se. But I would be lying saying I wasn't disappointed here. I actually went to see this film with high expectations. Ponyo was a bit of a letdown, but like Disney, they make mistakes. And they come out with something that I could get emotionally invested in, but unfortunately that's not what happened. I did enjoy the dialogue. The dubbing was pretty good. The, you know, the younger characters like Arietti and Sean sounded a little older than what they should have, but that's just a little bit nitpicking. I had able to look over that. The music was fantastic. I really enjoyed the songs played in the movie. And I also loved how the world the Burroughs lived in. How they, well basically how they used the tiniest object. It was very, very impressive, like how they use their environment and surroundings. I just, I love that a lot. Overall, I have noticed a slow decline in Ghibli's films in the past few years. Now, it hasn't lost its magic, but I think it's the communication of suffering. Uh, art direction is important, but recently I feel that the balance is lost, and it's now taken a priority over the characters. Now, I know a lot of people are going to give me grief on this. I mean, that's just my honest opinion on The Secret World of Arietti. It's not a bad movie, but I feel it did fall a bit short, especially considering it came out of a studio as prestigious as Ghibli. So, uh, check it out. See for yourself. I'm this is Jibineko, signing out.